Hi, this is Mikey D from LibreGeek.org, and this is the 0.9.1 release of RetroRig. Uh, this is primarily designed for Ubuntu 14.04 LTS, uh, but I've heard and we've tested on also Mint, which shares a lot of the similar packages, and hopefully in the future we might branch to other things or do an RPM-based release like Fedora. So once you've cloned the repository that's on GitHub, which you can search for RetroRig all in Word, um, if not, just check the video description here on YouTube and it's listed below. Uh, once you've cloned that and changed into the directory, we'll just do a sudo dot forward slash retrorig underscore setup dot sh. Punch in the password. Now it loads the modules here as well as sets X, XDG uh, environment variables. So uh, we don't really make use of it much anymore, but it does enable the project to push anything to a pictures directory that's in any language. Um, and this is true on Ubuntu. I'm not sure how if that's uh, Linux wide. So we got the main menu here. Uh, zero. We'll put the version number at the top, which I'm not sure if I did last time. So um, I'm not going to do the full install because it'll just overwrite um, what I'm going to kind of demo to you. But it'll go through, install the patched XBMC version which we've made a lot of heavy changes. Uh, many thanks to JC, uh, the other uh, person on the project with me at the moment. Uh, very, very smart individual. So a lot of the changes were under the hood this time. Um, we, I think already, we have hot plugging support for all the supported controllers. So um, we'll go into, I'll go into the settings in a bit and show you which ones those are. Uh, hot plugging support, uh, start, start up and shut down fixes so that it always um, exits cleanly and on time. And um, as well as there's icons here. When XBMC actually starts, it has its own icon. And we had, JC actually had to dig a lot and we found out finally how to get the icon to show up right. This one above it here is the main desktop uh, icon that's also on the actual desktop itself and that'll that'll launch in a lot of helper scripts will kind of fire off and you'll get XBMC um, pretty much dressed as RetroRig here now the one of the biggest changes that we actually just did is RetroRig will use its own dot file which um, if for the uninitiated in your home directory you have if you hit control H you'll see a lot of dot you know so and so folders normally XBMC goes into dot XBMC so rather than mess with a user's XPMC already, we pushed everything and figured out how to get it into its own dot file, so it's dot retro rig. Now, most of the ROMs and the folders and project files it can still be anywhere, uh, mainly in your home directories where you generally would clone this. So, in the settings menu, uh, we can change resolutions, and this is pretty much for emulators that support direct resolution, so mainly MedDefend. So if I support support that there, there's a little or hit that there's a notice there, and it'll list um, current resolutions. So exit out of there. Uh, can, you can load ROMs through here, but generally it's much easier to do it either uh, through Samba shares or SSH or just through the GUI if you have a quick mouse and keyboard. So there is SSH support, which any port you want to choose. Um, once you go through it, it'll ask you for the port number. Uh, some share will just open up the ROMs folder with all the console directories and you'll be able to get to that from your network. It is with guest access but you can always change that and restrict that if you wish. Uh, the change plugins, filters, and scaling is still in the works. Um, I'll probably be focusing more on that for the next release. You can load BIOS files for systems that require it such as several, if they're not included in the zip file of your game for MAME or MESS, um, you can load those. Um, as well as see the wiki for a lot of this information. Now I've considered taking this out, but I've still left it in the enable XBMC session, which instead of launching into Unity, it skips that, goes into that, um, XBMC, but I'd rather advise not using it at the moment um, since it's still a beta feature and it's kind of wonky. And if you do try it, make sure you back up all your um, actual RetroRig files and the .RetroRig folder in your home directory. You can also back up and restore your, your configurations, um, update XBMC configurations as well, which would be just the backend files uh, that would determine uh, what consoles are listed in ROM collection browser and so forth. You can upgrade Ubuntu kernel, uh, which we actually had to include by default because there was a regression in 3.13 of Ubuntu's kernel for the uh, Sony kernel module that enabled the USB um, native 
support for the controllers. So uh, in 3.14, it's actually fixed, and I, we, I've tested this a lot, and in, um, there's no harm to the system as far as I can tell, but um, of course, we'll adjust accordingly if there ever has something that crops up. So on the main screen here, we also can update the files from Git, which you clone this from, or if you download the zip file and you want to update the actual install files for this script. Uh, you can update the emulator programs, update XMFC, which is all those custom patch changes, update your Ubuntu system, upgrade your Ubuntu system, and just the typical reboot, and there's also a uninstall option. So I'm going to head into RetroRig here. So this is the main screen here, and I have the... Uh, Xbox 360 USB plugged in here. So the main screen hasn't changed much from previous, but for new people, this is a, a um, custom home screen background. Um, the buttons were cut down. Now, the theme maker of this Maximalism uh, theme, he has support direct, uh, direct support for ROM collection browser, which we'll see in a second. So it's the theming might change a little bit as we get into here. This is just a typical ROM collection browser uh, interface, so left on the D-pad of the controllers will bring up the, the uh, sorting menu pop down here, and there's all the systems. So we have uh, several here, MAME, Sega Master System, Game Boy Advance, PSP, PlayStation, Genesis, Game Boy Color, TurboGrafx-16, uh, Sega, Game Gear, Atari 2600, Neo Geo CD, Super Nintendo, uh, Nintendo 64, NES, and that's the end of the list there. Um, if you hit the X button on the Xbox 360 controller or the square button on the PS3 controller, you'll bring up the context menu for ROM collection browser. And you can tweak settings in here, but uh, the biggest aim of this project is to set this all up for you ahead of time. But like anything, it's glad it's good to always know where this is and you can always tweak it yourself. A lot of this information is on the wiki and more is added every day. So I'll just test, uh, let's see, let's test Sonic Advance here. Since I'm using kind of a low-end test system and N64 may not be the best test. So uh, we'll just kind of play around here. So this is Sonic Advance, a great title for uh, Sonic fans if you haven't played it. So um, all the the uh, controls are pre-mapped, so you shouldn't have to worry about any of that. But if you do need to remap them, um, I, if I haven't already, I will list how to do that for any of the emulator, uh, the emulator programs itself. So that's just a specific title, and I've tested all these, so these all, all the test system and the ROMs work here. Um, and the backgrounds, like in ROM Collection Browser, will change accordingly. So a lot of the backend stuff that you don't, or the backend stuff that you see behind, don't see behind the scenes, there's a lot going on that kind of makes it controller friendly from the get-go, um, including Xbox DRV services, um, the PS3. We actually in the settings there we do have for the PS3 Bluetooth, how it pairs the controller up. Now, because I only have two controllers, I try to set everything up ahead of time, but of course there are bound to be, you know, things here and there. So this skin does have a nice uh, interface here, and when the ROM collection browser support is added, um, the screen you were seeing previously with all the games will change, and it looks pretty nice, so I'm definitely in, uh, looking forward to that upgrade from the, the uh, theme maker for this. And the typical shutdown uh, menu, which like I said, with the the changes exits right away. So um, a lot of those were internal and big, big thanks to the fellow or the uh, contributor I have on board already, uh, JC, who made a lot of those internal XBMC um, changes possible. So many thanks out to him. So this is RetroRig uh, 0.9.1 from uh, LeeRigGeek.org. You can check out the project on GitHub if you search RetroRig or just look in the video description below here on YouTube and I'll, I'll list it in the About section. So uh, this is Mikey D and thanks for watching.